What's up YouTube, it's Sankey and I make videos on the stock market. Guys, today I'm coming at you with a couple of hot stocks that should double your money. So you wanna make sure you watch the whole video all the way through. Right, I'm whipping out the charts today. We're gonna to have a lot of fun with this one. So check out that link down below before I do. That's Trading212. Go and grab yourself a free share of stock worth up to $100. I actually had someone who used it and got a free share of stock of Neo, which I thought was cool. Right, without further ado, let's jump into the portfolio and see what's going on. On the road to 100K, it's my YouTube growth portfolio, currently standing at just under 42,000 pounds, which is about just under $50,000, right? Now, I come on here each and every day to show you guys the portfolio for full transparency so you guys can jump in on the same plays as me and make some fantastic returns. Look, the aim is to get your portfolios from $1,000 to $2,000, right? Then from $10,000 to $50, and then from $50 to $100, right? That is the aim of the game here. Now, it's been a downwards day today. It's been a red day across the board. A lot of the major indices are down, the S&P 500, the Dow, the NASDAQ. So don't be worried if your portfolios are also in the red. My portfolio is down about a grand and a half, right? But that's just the stock market. You get up days and you get down days. And you can always capitalize on the down days. A lot of stocks are on sale. So I know right now, a lot of you guys are busy building your positions in you know, the NEOs, the XPUNGs while they're down but there's a lot of other opportunities out there in the market that I'm gonna show you today. I'm gonna to present you some fantastic picks that should double your money, right? So without further ado, let's jump into company number one. So up on screen, we've got C Limited. Now this is probably one that you haven't heard of before. This is a fantastic business, right? This is a Southeast Asian e-commerce, gaming and finance business. They're well diversified. They're pretty massive, but 100 billion in market cap but they are set to soar, right? They've had fantastic historical performance. Now, if I go to the long-term share price graph, that's what I like to see. I like to see a firm that has consistently delivered for its investors year over year over year, right? There's not been a single year where it's failed, it's failed us investors and is set to deliver in the future, right? So jumping into their Q3 reports that they released last month, now revenue, 1.2 billion up almost 100% year on year. Gross prof profit of ho almost half a billion up again another 100%. And their EBITDA, which is a sign of their profitability, was 100 million compared to a loss of 30 million the year before. So as you can see, this is a massive business, but it's still growing rapidly, right? and they're starting to become profitable. So once they reach that net income profitability level, it's gonna provide so much momentum to their share price. So this is a business that is moving in the right direction for us investors, right? So we've gotta put it on our radar now. So it's worth noting that the Southeast Asian economy is set to grow from where it is now, 100 billion, to 300 billion in the next five years, right? That's what I love to see. I love to see an industry that's growing, right? I invest in assets that are in growing industries. So C Limited is set up very, very nicely to take full advantage of that. Now the strategy is to invest in C Limited when it drops five to 10% off its current price, which is currently 202. So we wanna be investing in C Limited at about 195. That's why we wanna monitor it, put it on our radars so we can buy low and eventually sell high, right? So I'm gonna let you guys in on some game now. This is a C Limited share price graph. The yellow line is its short-term moving average. The red line is its long-term moving average. Now, what I like to do when I'm investing in companies is wait for that short-term average to meet or get closer to its long-term average. So I'm waiting for the yellow line to dip down to that red line. Now, this is why I say we should wait for C Limited to drop five to 10%, because that will push that yellow line further down. Then you're buying into the company at a good price right so this is something to bear in mind when you guys are investing in companies up next we have fresh pet that's ticker symbol frpt these guys manufacture dog and cat food but it's premium and it's refrigerated and this is a growing sector what i really really like about fresh pet is look they are positive all the way through their income statement right net income positive and i love investing in assets that either one show a path to to being profitable or are already profitable, right? Because it shows they're managing their business and they're gonna deliver for us investors down the road. The fresh pet food market is actually set to grow anywhere between 15% and 25% between 2021 and 2026. So it's a rapidly growing market. To put this into perspective, 
it's almost growing in line with the EV sector, right? Which is pretty hard to believe, but that's how, how rapidly the market's grown. So how we're gonna play this one is we're gonna wait also for it to drop anywhere between five to 10%, right? So anywhere around $100 is looking pretty good as a buy-in point for fresh pet. Buy low, sell high. That's the strategy here. Next on the list is QuantumScape. That's ticker symbol QS. If you don't know these guys, they manufacture the lithium ion batteries that are used in electric vehicles. This is a fantastic play. I would say to you guys to diversify your EV portfolio. So not only do you want the car manufacturers, the Teslas, the Neos, but you also want the infrastructure plays like the charge points, but then you also want the battery manufacturers and you can get that with quantum scape, right? Because all of these, all of these um, three verticals are set to rise. That the EV market is exploding and all of these companies are gonna enjoy that ride. So QuantumScape actually had an uplift recently, and this is because they came out with a report, and the report was saying that their battery shows the ability of working at very high rates of power, enabling a 15 minute charge to 80% capacity. Now this is faster than conventional battery and alternative solid state approaches are capable of delivering. All right, so this is fantastic news for QuantumScape and now they're even more on my radar, right? They've come out with some positive news, right? So the market is now looking lofty. QuantumScape is looking a little bit expensive. So the plan is we are gonna wait for QuantumScape to drop down in price, right? Now I say a good entry point is about 65 now. If we can get in at 65, let the market cool off. The market is very excited right now. Jump in at 65, we can ride that wave, and I'm pretty sure these guys can double by the end of next year. QuantumScape right now is only half a half a billion market cap company, right? This is a lot smaller than a lot of the other EV players that we see, right? Very rarely do we see an EV player under 1 billion, right? So this is a good opportunity to ride that wave, double our money by the end of next year. That's QuantumScape, put them on your radar, that's a fantastic play. So now onto the question of the day part of the video, and this question comes from Path. He wants to know, is it a good time to invest at $46 into Neo or shall I wait? Thank you very much for sending in that question. I know that's gonna help a lot of people out right now. So. I know a lot of people on this channel, I've always said, build your positions now in NEO while it's at the bottom, right? Because NEO is set to soar. So is $46, is it too late or should he wait? Now I think a lot of you will agree with me out there that now is the time to be buying into NEO, right? Now is a fantastic time. Right now, what's happening to NEO is they're going for a consolidation phase. Now I'm gonna put a link to one of my previous videos that I did that showed when Tesla went for his consolidation phase about a month ago, right? Tesla was trading in between, I think it was 460 and about 410, and it was just bubbling in that, in, in that channel. The other the Chinese EV um, companies were actually soaring during this period in time. A lot of people slept on Tesla, right? But then what happened is Tesla broke through, it had a catalyst, which was the inclusion into the S&P 500, and then shot up, broke through the 500 barrier, and then broke through the 600 barrier, right? So this is what's gonna happen to NEO. So if you wanna, you, you wanna be sure, ensuring that you're building your position in NEO now, before this catalyst come into play, and that share price pushes through that $50 resistance mark, pushes through the 55, and then eventually the $60 mark, which if you saw one of my previous videos, I estimate that's gonna be around the end of January. Neo's got a lot of amazing catalysts coming up, right? One is Neo Day, right? It's, it's expanding its, um, its, its production capacity, its monthly production capacity to 7,500 vehicles come January. So it's gonna be able to deliver a lot more vehicles. That's another catalyst. Another catalyst could potentially be if the PCAOB come out and say, look, Neo's audits are fine. It's a sound and solid company. There's nothing to worry about. All these factors, and there's a lot more factors out there, are gonna push Neo's share price up because investor money is going to pile in, confidence is going to rise, and when you see Neo share price shoot up, and then you're going to wish that you invested in Neo when it was $46. So now is the time, if you haven't already, to be building out your position in Neo. And I'd recommend at least 100 shares in Neo because Neo is a fantastic growth asset, and you do not want to miss out on the momentum that Neo is going to carry forward through to 2021 and 2022, right? It is literally primed for takeoff. So don't wait now, now's your time. As you'll see in the market, the market is up, up and down. One day, it'll be up 5%, the next day it'll be down 5%. So it gives you opportunity to build your stake. But 
when the catalyst comes, it will come in a day, right? And we'll see Neo share price shoot up 10, 15% on the day. So you don't wanna be left in the dark. You wanna ensure that you've built your position ready for that point where Neo catches that momentum and onwards and upwards to $100 by the end of 2021. So that brings us to the end of today's video. Please hit a like on this video. It really, really helps the channel out. And do light up that comment section for me. As always, you guys have been fantastic recently, right? Now, if you're new, do hit that subscribe button. I've got some fantastic videos coming. I've got my NEO five-year prediction video. So if you're a long-term holder in NEO, or you're unsure of if you should buy in now, you're gonna wanna check that video out. As I always say to you guys, check into this channel daily. The stock market is rapidly moving and you never ever wanna miss a beat. So I'll catch you guys on the next one.